just get this set up. So if you want information on how to go um, get my alerts, I have that ready for you. Whoop, turn that off. Okay, find it here. Here we go. Okay. So how is everyone doing today? I thought I would come on. Hey, Judy, and show you guys how to do um, some of the candy cane wreaths. I've done these before. Um, hey, Kathy. Hey, Judy. So um, I thought we'd do maybe a couple different versions and see how it goes. Good afternoon, Marie. All right. So I'm going to make the first one with the ribbon. Thank you, God. Let me put this down a little bit. I think you guys have seen me do this before. I made one, I think, when I was away on vacation, I made one. So, whoop, I cut my head off. All right, sorry about that. Just need to adjust it a little bit. Okay. All right. So, um, I got these trees. I'm doing well. Hey, Marcy. Hey, Muriel. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Betty. Um, the form from the Dollar Tree. Um, I put the skew in um, the description there so you guys can see everyone. Good to see you. So I'm going to start with this one. So what I do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I just take and wrap it around the frame. And then I zip tie it to the frame to start it out. Okay. Just take a little zip tie and tie it in there. Good afternoon. And then I'm just going to pull that through there and tighten it up. We want to cooperate today. Hello, thank you for sharing. Much appreciated. Okay, I'm going to slide that down the end. <clears throat> Here we go. Hey Esmeralda, hello, hello, hello. Okay, all right, so that's all I do. As you guys can see, I just zip tie it to the frame, and it's a little crooked, isn't it? Well, let me bring you guys down some so you can see it better. Okay, so then I, then I just take it and I just start to wrap it around the frame. Don't worry about this because we will tuck it in in a little bit. See how it's overlapping. So it's not right at the frame. I have like half of the ribbon over this way. Okay. Now I always use two and a half inch ribbon. You can use um, bigger ribbon. I wouldn't use smaller ribbon because you're going to use a lot of ribbon. So then I just really take it and then I start wrapping. And the easiest thing I found is that, let me show you guys. I definitely use my um, mesh holder for this because otherwise it gets all twisty and turly and it's a pain. So I just take and I wrap this and I move this. I don't move the ribbon, I move the candy cane. And really that's all there is to it. I just kind of want to evenly space it out here. Okay. Hey Peggy, hey Cindy, hey Julie, hey Sylvia. And really that's all there is to it. You kind of want to keep it tight. You don't want it to get loose on you. And you just want to overlap it. You don't want to, you know, overlap it all the way, but just like halfway so that you make sure you get good coverage. Okay. And this is where that mesh holder really comes in handy because it holds that. And you don't have to worry about the ribbon flying all over the place. Okay. How many of you guys have made one of these before? Many of you? Hey Monica, hey Leslie. Okay, and you just, that's all you do. You just keep going around. Now it does get a little tricky when you get up at the top here, but you just want to keep it tight. Good afternoon, Carol. How are you? And you just want to keep wrapping. Okay. Make sure. Hey Darlene. Yeah, they're not hard. I mean, they're just. You just kind of get in the hang of it. 
And when you get up here to the curve, like I said, it does get a little tricky, but um, and it gets a little, you want to kind of keep, keep that tight. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing there? And then really, you just keep wrapping. Knocked myself in the head there. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello, hello. And that's really all there is to it. You just keep wrapping it around. <clears throat> I think it takes about 14 feet of ribbon to do one of these just the wrapping part and then you have the bow part that takes another 14 or 15 so it's not you know cheap but it's a lot um, it's not real expensive okay just about done okay and just keep turning it around now, when you use this, this kind of will, the writing will kind of, um, oh, hey, Kathy, well, how'd your knee replacement go? Wow. Okay, just keep curling that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of this off. This um, ribbon came from Costco. I'm going to give myself plenty, so I'm not worried about that. And I'm just going to keep wrapping. Okay. Now, like I said, when you use the lettering ribbon, it will kind of turn up here, but that's okay. All right, so then you get to the end, and I'm going to take another zip tie, and I'm going to zip tie this end. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to zip tie this end. Yep, turn around. Oh, thanks, Rosie. Okay, so I'm just going to get that zip tie going. All right, and then again, you want to make sure that you overlapped here. You don't want it right up against there. You want some overlap. And then just take it and put it inside the zip tie. Okay, and make sure that's nice and tight. And don't worry about it. the zip tie is not going to show because we're going to cover it. All right, and then just trim that off. Okay. Oh, good, Kathy. Yeah, I know. There's, I, I had surgery, a meniscus surgery on my knee. Nothing like a whole knee replacement, but that is painful. So now you're left with this little overlap, and you have a little overlap here. Okay, so what I do, and I bought these little things from um, the Dollar Tree. They're just little plastic clips. So now what I do is I take this and I fold this under and then I take my glue gun put it over here. Okay, and I'm just going to put a bunch of glue on there. Okay, and watch you don't burn yourself. And then tuck it in there. Oops, and just overlap it, okay? Now this is where I use these. I put one of these on, and I just do that so it holds it tight, okay? Yeah, it's really pretty easy to do, all right? And then you're going to do the same thing over here on this end, okay? Now I didn't leave as much, that's okay. All right, just fold that up without burning yourself and then grab another one of these and just do that okay so now while this dries we're going to um, set this uh oh set this to the side okay so that's gonna dry all right now we're going to do the um, bow for and the bow I use is just that one ribbon bow that I showed you guys before. Get this off. Put that to the side. And like I said, this ribbon came from 
This is Members Mark. So this is Sam's Club. I got this there last year. Oh, it's lighter than it looks, Darlene. Yeah, it's not It's not that heavy. <laughs> yeah, I love my glue gun. Yep, I have an affiliate link to it. That's on the link as well. Okay, so now we're going to make the bow. Get my bow maker out here, my Provo the Hand. Hey, Connie. All right, this is my Provo the Hand. And I'm going to get my spool holder. And then this ribbon, I got a coordinating ribbon, one and a half inch. This I got from Costco this year. Okay. And this is just this little one ribbon bow that we're going to do. I know I need to go open some more. Okay. Yeah, it's just a rechargeable glue gun. It's got a battery that can be recharged. So um, I just use that. that came out of there. And I cut my wire. Hey, Jackie. I cut my wire, I don't know, about 27, 28 inches. I like my wire long. And we're just going to do this little one ribbon bow. Let me pull you over here. Otherwise, you can see it better. <clears throat> Okay, so see if you guys can get a good view of that. Okay, so all you do for this bow is you're going to do one time around the center peg, three times around this um, first finger, and then, hey, Johnny, and then five times around the third finger. So we are just going to take it, and we're going to get about a thumb's width, and we're going to gather it. I'm going to wrap our wire around. Hey, Sue. Well, welcome. Hey, Maria. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Penny. And we're just going to wrap it around the wire. Okay. And you have one wire up, one wire down. I'm going to take it. I'm going to wrap this around that peg. And, oops, I got glue on my fingers. Oh, no. Hey, Judy. Hey, Luann. Yes, you did, but um, I'm going to do another type, too. So you take the top wire and wrap it around. And clockwise, you don't want to miss the, um, you don't want to do it counterclockwise. Okay, and then you take the bottom wire and you wrap it. There's a little nail down here. You just take it and wrap it once around there and then tuck it under. Okay. Can you guys see this okay? I'm trying to get you a good view. All right, so then you're just going to tuck this in there. It's fraying like crazy. Let me cut that off a little bit. It's really fraying. Okay, so we're going to tuck that in. And so that's once around there. Okay, then you're going to gather it and twist. And we're going to go three times around each of finger one. So that's one on that side. Twist. And one on this side. Okay. And you're just going to do that again. Twist. And this is number two here. Okay. And gather it. And twist number two on this side. Oh, thanks, Johnny. And just gather it and twist. And the reason you do the twist is to bring the obviously this ribbon doesn't matter, but is to bring the pretty side of the ribbon facing out. All right, so that's three on that side. And then, hey, Anne, how are you? Twist. And this is the third one on this side. Now, I always tell you guys the two tools I can't live without are my Probo and my mesh holder. So the Probo, you see, you don't, like, I'm, I left go, and it's still there. It's not, um, it's not, you know, going to go anywhere. It's not going to move on you. Um, Rosie, it's just a habit you want to get into of twisting, even though it's the same. I always do it, even though it is the same on both sides, because... 
I don't want to start not doing that and then messing up and not doing it when I need to. So it's just something I do it whether I need to or not. Hey, Annie. And you saw how easy wrapping the candy cane was with my mesh holder. It just makes it so much easier. So that's one there. And this is two. I'll just get a little, oops. No, it just came off a little bit. Let me redo that one. Um, the fluff box, you can buy it off of probothehand.com or you can make your own. Courtney, I made my own. It was very easy to make. But if you're not handy at all, um, you can always buy it from Probo the Hand. But they don't sell the fluff boxes anywhere else. My ribbon kind of curled. Okay. So this is two. Okay, so this is the third one over here. Third one over here. Fourth one over here. The candy cane frame came from the Dollar Tree. And in the description, I put um, the SKU number if you want to order them, if they're not in your Dollar Trees yet. But that's where I got them from. I order mine in August as soon as you can start to order them because they will fly off the shelves. Um, I wrote it down. This bow. Yeah, the Dollar Tree frame. Yep. This bow takes about 15 yards. No, 15 feet. I'm sorry, 15 feet. It's been my picture since it's been happening. My picture taken, so this one will work. Oh, I know how many do I do? One, two. Got it. Forgot here. Two, three. That one is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Just making sure. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's five. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to untwist this one. And you want to stick your finger there. And, oh, I forgot some. There's still some in there. So make sure that you get it all off of that peg. Okay, and do a very good job on this bow. Hey, Sandy. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this one out from underneath the table. Yeah, I did not do a very good job on this bow. I'm not liking this bow. I'm not liking this ribbon on this bow. All right, guys, you know what? I'm starting over. Not liking it. Yes, the outside one should have five. Yeah, I don't. I just don't like the way this ribbon is feeling on here. So I'm going to redo it. I don't like the way it sat there. Yep, it should have five. So the first finger, the middle finger will have one. The second finger will have three, and yeah, it's the ribbon. Um, I don't like the way this ribbon is, so let me grab another ribbon. Another red ribbon. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll grab this one. I know I like this one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I love it. All right, so let me get rid of that. Yeah, I'm just not, I think it's, it was the material, the ribbon. Um, I just didn't like the way that was sitting there, so. And that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you just got to redo. All right, so we're going to start over again. Yeah, I didn't really like that ribbon. Not for that. Okay. But that one good thing about this stuff, you can just, yeah, you're going to love the mesh holder. Ugh. You're going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's start again. So again, we're going to take about a thumb's length and gather it. Yeah, that one I just... Well, that one came from... Um, that one came from Costco, and I just... I didn't like the way that was sitting in there. I think it was just the material of the ribbon. So and just wrap it around again. Okay. I know, I know, right? 
right, Karina? I know. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was. So, and if I'm not happy with it, I feel like the people that I'm selling to aren't going to be happy with it. So, all right. All right, so I'm going to go around here again. I should have known when it was. I have the deluxe, the collapsible one. Surely, I love it. Wrap it around here. Yes, you do need the Probo. I love my Probo. I have the affiliate links on here. Oops, geez, I'm having all kinds of problems today. This does not want to cooperate today. Yeah, I have my affiliate links on there. If you guys want to need the Probo or the mesh holder, it's up in the description. Um, but if you can't find it, just let me know, and I can um, do a pinned post for that. Okay. Now, that's better. Okay. So, again, we're going to do the same thing. So, we have that one there. We're going to do three around this one. Hey, Rita. All right. So, that's one. Okay. That's two. Two on that side. This is the third one on this side. And the third one on this side. I like this ribbon anyway. Look, it's got kind of a, a square pattern in it. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Not that I don't like that other one, but I don't like it for this bow. I did make my my um, pegs longer. I just like the longer pegs. All right, now we're going to do five times around this one. Okay, so that's number one. Yes, I always use wired ribbon. Hey, Sandy. One around here. Hey, Sarah. This is number two. Number two. Hey, Mary Jane. Awesome. This is the third one. And the fourth one. I just like this bow on the candy canes. So, I don't know. I'm sure you can make. Hey, Trixie. Yeah, I'm pulling it. I mean, I'm not putting it, pulling it real tight, but I'm pulling it tight enough. You know, I'm not, like, really yanking on it. But, all right, and this is the fifth one. Okay. All right, so that's five on either side. I did a better job of counting this time. So bring the one out from underneath. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now that made me just slip. I'm just not doing good today with these bows. Today's not my day for bows. All right, and that's that. Then I'm going to tie this off. Now, there we go. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, I always do three tails when I do my um, bows for the thing. So what I do is I just pull it out to the end of the board and fold it back over. Just gather it and tie that one in. Okay. And then what I do is I get the third one here. And then I just dovetail the ends on all three. Okay. Oh, no, it came out. I'm telling you, it's not my day today. I'm struggling with these bows today. 
Um, it's important when you do it so that when you pull it off, you're pulling it off this way so it comes off. Because when you wrap it around that first peg, it needs to be the clockwise. Oh, I'm telling you. you. Guys, I'm really struggling today. Usually my bows are a little easier, but... Hmm. All right, let me put this down and get my fluff box. You know, some days you just, it's easy, and some days it's not. Today's just one of those days. I'm struggling. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wire underneath this little eye hook and then wrap it around here. And then I'm going to fluff my bow. So I want all my tails to the front. And then I'm just going to start pulling these out. Who knows how this bow is going to turn out? I'm just not having a good bow day. That was a real struggle. I don't know. We'll see. Bow is not looking good. This box I made, but you can also buy it from Probo the Hand. It's their fluff box. Okay, let me turn it around here. I'm going to do these five. See, when you do it this way, this bow, there's five on the bottom, and then there's three in the middle. Hey, Sonia, how are you? And then just that one on the top. And I just think it makes a nice bow. Didn't turn out too bad for how bad I feel like I really messed that up. All right, I'm going to take that off there, and I'm going to get my candy cane back, and let me up here. Okay, so then I can take these off, and now that's held there, and I don't have to worry about that them coming off. Get that on there. There we go. That's why I use plastic ones, too. All right. Yeah, it's so much easier with the handle on it. Okay, so now I have a little pick for this. But we could add this pick. I like to add the pick before I do the bow. Now, what I do for the picks, oh, thanks, Janice, is I, oh, that's up. you want your bow to be about the same um, space as right here where the candy cane itself ends. Okay, so you want your bow to be about right there. So when I do my um, pick, I want to put it up a little higher. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, I have an easy bow maker. I need to get possibly pro, but whoops, sorry. Yes, yep, it's on. Um, I have it on there. In fact, let me get the links for the Probo. Mm. Oh, here's my Probo. Whoops. All right. So here's my links for the um, Probo and the um, mesh holder. All right, so back to this. So what I want to do is I want to put this in about here. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to slice, put a little slice in the ribbon. Okay. Then I'm just going to go ahead and feed this down in there. Okay. And it doesn't come out the bottom or anything. And then what I do is fluff this the way I want it. And then I will just add a little dab of hot glue there. Okay. Just kind of hold that in place. OK, 
Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the bow. And when I add the bow, I just put it right there so you don't kind of see what I just did. And then you just take it around the back. And you want to pull it kind of tight. And then just wrap it. It is a Black & Decker glue gun. I love that glue gun. <laughs> I have an affiliate link for that too. I like to put the bow on after the pick so you can kind of hide the pick. But you can do it with it whichever way you want to, Peggy. It's totally up to you. This is way too long. I don't know. It's just something I kind of started doing and Okay, now what I do with that is I take it and I tuck it underneath, oops, cut that off a little bit. I take it and I tuck it under there, okay? And it's tight enough, it's not going to slide all over the place. And then you just adjust this, adjust your bow. It's not too bad for as bad as I thought the bow was going to be. Pull you guys back a little bit. All right, and there you go. Isn't that easy? I think it's easy. So, and that's what I do. You don't have to add a pick if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. But they're pretty easy to make. And um, isn't that pretty? So that's with the, um, the ribbon. Okay. Now, I do have a couple other ways I was thinking if you guys want to see. Um, I will show you. You can do it with um, burlap. Or you can do it with deco mesh. So which guys do you... Which, um, you guys want me to show you another one? The deco mesh or the oh I must have lost that new one. The deco mesh or the um burlap. What do you guys think? Okay, so that's that one. So I either have red deco mesh we can make. Or the um, whoops, natural burlap. Thicker mesh. Oh yeah, the hanger. Sorry, glad you said that, Trixie. All right, so it looks like deco mesh. Okay, so what I do for the hanger. Is I just take a zip tie. Um, I did. I did, Pe um, Peggy. I have it somewhere. I'll have to look for it. And what I do is I find, you know, where you want to hang it from. And I just take again and I put a little hole in there. And then I just take the zip tie and run it through. Oh, we'll do it this way. You put the lid on this. Lord knows I'll cut myself if I don't. Wrap it through there. And you can use a pipe cleaner for this if you want to. You don't have to use a zip tie. And then I just tuck that tip underneath. And then again, I just run a little bit of glue there to hold it in place. Okay, so I will put that one to the side and get another frame out here. <clears throat> okay, why that dries. All right, so. Okay, Peggy, just um, send me a message and I will um, try to look for that. 
The candy cane frame th came from the Dollar Tree. In the description of this video, I have um, the skew for this and kind of a little idea of what I um, what you want. Okay, so did we decide deco mesh or the burlap? I think we said deco mesh, right? Okay. All right, now for this, I'm going to use a six inch mesh. And I haven't made one of these in a while, so I don't remember how much it's going to take. So we're just going to see where we go. Okay, so when I do the deco mesh, hey Susan, how are you? Um, you kind of do the um, pull through method, all right? So I'm going to use a red one of these. I'm going to gather it together. I put the hanger on the top and I'm going to zip tie. Let me make sure I remember how to do this. It's been a while. All right, whoops. So you feed one side of the mesh through here and one side of the mesh through here. And we have to come back around and do the other side as well. So I'm going to take the zip tie and zip tie it onto here. I It's been a long time since I've done this, so this method anyway. <laughs> so we will see how it comes out. I think I need to wrap it around the frame first. It has been a while since I have done this. I don't want the bottom sticking out. Well, we'll see. We will see. We will see. Um, I found this at a um, wholesale place. Um, I know Michael sells it. All right, so I'm going to pull it through. One side here, one side here. I'm going to pull it through there. And then just tighten it off. Tie it off there. <laughs> okay, yep, I'll zoom in. Hold on, let me get this over here again. Okay, is that better? Um, I probably sell more of the ribbon ones. Okay, now all you do is you just take it and you get find the edges of your mesh. And you just, like, here's the edges, here's the fold part, and you just take it and push it through, okay? So it does take a little time. And you do the same thing with the burlap. With the burlap, you can either um, do the method that I just did with the ribbon, or you can do this method. This method is just a little more time consuming. I don't like it as much. You want to kind of try to make sure that you're getting it even, too. Yeah, when I get there, I will. Okay? So really, you're just taking each edge, and you're pulling it up. Okay? So it's just going to kind of make a ruffle. And like I said, you can do this same thing with the um, burlap, the burlap I like to wrap it around as well too, but you can do it this way or you can do um, this method. So you can use either method for the burlap as well. Okay, so you're just going to kind of make sure the sides are even as you go too. And then just gather it and pull. Um, no, I don't, Mary Jane. I know a lot of people say you should wear a mask when you do it. I don't. It really doesn't bother me. And this is all there is to this. You just kind of pull it through. OK. 
Okay, and then we're going to come down the other side too, so you can see how full this is. You definitely don't want to use a bigger um, size mesh. Okay, now if you want to, you can zip tie this here to this um, crossbar so it doesn't move. It's not necessary, but you have to. You don't have to. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do that just so you can see. Um, the ribbon ones I charge 25 to 34. The these it just depends how much material goes into it because usually this method uses a lot more material, so you're going to have to charge more. Oh, yeah, that breast cancer one is not easy to do and keep the shape. So, again, you're just going to keep doing that in each section. I'm just pulling it through. Just keep you know pulling it until you think that section is full enough, and then you just move on to the next section. Like I said, you do not have to zip tie at each crossbar, but you totally can do that if you want. If you want to, you know, make sure it's not going to move around. So, like I said, it's a step you don't have to do. If you want to, you can. I can get it through the mesh. I have not, Mary Jane. I've done a mailbox, like a mailbox swag, and I think that would pretty much be the same as the headstone. Okay, and that's all there is to it. This takes a little more time and to me is a little more complicated than the um, ribbon. You know, Betty, it has been so long since I've made one of these that I'm not sure. <laughs> We're going to find out. I bet probably at least two. It's definitely easier if you pull it down and really kind of run it through there. And make sure you have that there too. Yeah, the mailbox would be the same. Yep. Yep, it would be the same. In fact, I just showed one, the mailbox thing um, a couple weeks ago, I think I did. It was a Christmas one. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? Summer, I don't really know. I'm just kind of pulling it. I'm just pulling each of the ends together and just making it full. So I'm really not measuring to know how much it is, to be honest. Through that mesh. Yeah, I'm just going section by section. And like I said, you don't have to zip tie it to each crossbar. So it's totally up to you. So you just want to gather the ends each side and just gather it together. And I want to make sure it stays straight like that. And just keep gathering.
To me, the ribbon ones are so much easier to make. Because this is a little bit more of a pain, but it's a different look. So um, it's totally what you, you like. You just want to keep pulling it through and then kind of pushing it down here so you know it's going to be full. And then move to the next section. You're just doing the same thing each section. You, I'm sure you could do this um, using the Dollar Tree mesh too because you're not cutting it so you won't have to worry about it fraying yeah it's it's you know you tr you want to try new things and kind of see what you like like i said i think the ribbon one is just so much easier to do um but it's a totally different look too I'm putting it between, like, I, I'll, the next one I'll pull through here. So I'm putting it between the, oops, putting it between these two. So I'm just taking it and pulling it between. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just each side, and I'm just pulling it. So it's just around the one bar. You like this one, Linda? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a pretty look. It's just a totally different look. So you can use really whatever you want. Like I said, you can do the burlap. The burlap, you can wrap it around just like I did the ribbon one. Or you can pull it through just like this. It just depends the look that you want. Yep, now for deco mesh, I think you're going to need like one roll. I know in the round ones, you need one roll for every section. So just be prepared. It is going to take a lot of mesh. So even though the deco mesh from the Dollar Tree is only a dollar, you're going to need a lot of it. Because <clears throat> you probably need one for each section here. And I'm talking this section and this section. So, or I don't know, maybe you don't. But I know when you use the round frames and do this, absolutely. Um, you would do the same thing, except for you would cut it off and start the white. And then cut it off and do the red. So you can do that as well. Oop, and there's my one roll already. Might take three rolls, I don't know. Without this mesh holder, it would make this job a whole lot harder, too. So, all right, so what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to, nope, that one's caught on that. Keep going with that until that one's done. So, like you'll see here, um, Liz, when I add this next. Thing, what you would do if you were using red then white. I would just keep it in each section. So what I'm going to do now is, okay, so there, that's that's that roll ending, okay? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the next roll and I'm going to start it right next to it. Now, obviously, like I said, you would use red here and then white here, but I would just start adding it. And then I would zip tie those two to this crossbar. So I'm going to just overlap these. And then I'm going to zip tie them together. Oops, can you see that? So I'm just going to zip tie them together so um, the two don't come apart. Take this away. So I'm just zip tying the old tie and the new tie together. Or the new um, mesh, roll of mesh. And then I'm just going to keep going with it. Okay, stick that in there. And just keep pulling. It gets a little crazy here <laughs> with all the mesh. Oops, and I'm pulling it wrong. Pull it there. Pulling it through. And then just keep pushing it back. Um, I will get my zip ties from, I'm trying to think where I got it. I got them from, I bought them from Home Depot before. I bought them from um, Amazon, wherever you can find it that they're cheapest. These came from, I think, Harbor Freight, the all different colored ones. It came in a pack like they're all different sizes and all different colors. I mean, it's not hard, it's just, this is a little more of a pain, <laughs> the pull through. Okay. Right, I'm going to move on to the last section here. And it gets a little more complicated when you're trying to, um, hey Lisa, yep, no problems, when you're trying to go through the next side. I guess if you just want to kind of try to pull that evenly through there. Oops, look at that. That was cut off that roll. Hmm. Just get the ruffles even. Okay. Yeah, that was cut right off that roll. That's crazy. Okay. Well, that was cut at the perfect spot. I guess it was going to be cut. It was. It is good there. Hey, Teresa, how are you? All right, then I'm just going to zip tie that to here, to the edge. Tight. And cut that off. Okay, so now that's just one side. This mesh is really stringy. Okay, so that's just one, that's the one side. Hey Debbie, how are you? So now what we have to do is we have to do the same thing and we're going to pull it through these two. Okay, the first two we pulled through here. Now this we're going to pull all the way doing the same thing on between this bar. Now this, like I said, this gets a little more complicated. And you're trying to do this one because you have it tight against that other one. So it gets a little harder. 
So let me start down here. And we're going to do the same thing. 